Let's check the smart lock first. The package contains exterior assembly, latch, strike, mounting plate, interior assembly, installation guide, drill and template, mounting plate screws, strike screws, latch screws, cover screws, reset tool, backup key, optional bolt faceplate. J02 lock installation tutorial. Before the installation, make sure your door is ready for installing the lock. Prepare the door and check the following dimensions. First, measure to confirm that the hole in the door is 2 to 1 8 inches, 54 millimeters. Second, measure to confirm that the back set is either 2 to 3 8 inches or 2 to 3 4 inches, 60 or 70 millimeters. Third, measure to confirm that the hole in the door edge is 1 inch, 25 millimeters. Fourth, Measure to confirm that a door is 1 to 3 8 inches to 2 inches, 35 millimeters to 50 millimeters thick. Please refer to the provided drilling template if needed. You can also adjust the back side of the latch as shown if necessary. Now we're going to show you how to mount the JU02 lock to the door. First, pay attention to the orientation for the latch. Make sure the latch is facing upwards. Second, install the latch to the door frame and fix the latch with two screws. Use a screwdriver to test if the dead bolt goes smoothly. Then keep the latch in retracted position. Third, Hold the exterior assembly flush against the door. Let the key tail piece and power cable go through the door hole. Fourth, install the mounting plate and keep it parallel to the door edge. Secure the mounting plate with the provided screws. Fifth, connect the power cable and make sure the cable of the exterior assembly is well plugged into the socket of the interior PCB. Rotate the thumb turn vertical and upward facing. Fix the interior assembly to the mounting plate and test if the latch works smoothly. Then screw in three cover screws to fix the interior assembly. Sixth, keep your lock in unlock status. Insert three new AA alkaline batteries in the battery pack. Stick reset tool in and hold the reset hole. Hold still the reset hole, insert the last battery, and wait for 3 seconds until you hear a beep. Then the dead bolt will reallocate to learn the orientation of the door. Seventh, pull back the lid of the battery pack and complete the installation. Use the backup key to test if the latch works smoothly. Use the default master pin code 1234-5678 to open a door. Press the random key for more than 2 seconds to lock the door. If the door can unlock and lock as it's supposed to, it means the installation is successful. J02 Lock Programming Guide Please note that the button with our logo is the multi-function button. You can double press it to enter the administrator mode or single press it to confirm the operation. It means the setting is successful when the indicator light is green. And it means the setting is failed when the indicator light flashes red. Let's show you how to set up the lock. First, change the master code. The default master pin code is 12345678. You will be asked to change the master pin code prior to adding any codes for security concerns. Please pay attention that each pin code has to be set with 4 to 10 digits number and here's more. Neither master code nor user pin codes could be set no matter with forward nor backward sequence. Repeating number sequence would also be rejected by the system. Existing code sequence is invalid too.
Simply press the multi-function button twice. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then multi-function button. Then press one. Then input new master code. And press multi-function button. And input a new master code again. And press multi-function button to store a new master code. Use the new master code to test if you can unlock the J user to lock. Second, add user code. You can press the multifunction button twice and input new master code. And press multifunction button and press 2. And type in new user code. And press multifunction button and type the new user code again. And press multifunction button to add a new user code. Use the new user code to unlock the JUSER to lock. Third, delete user code. You can press the multifunction button and press new master code. And press multifunction button and press 3. And type in unwanted user code. And press multifunction button to delete the useless one. Now the deleted user code cannot unlock the JUSER to lock anymore. Fourth, enable and disable silent mode. The silent mode is disabled by default. You can press the multifunction button and press new master code. And press multifunction button and press 4. And press 2. And press multifunction button to enable the silent mode. You can press the multifunction button and press new master code. And press multifunction button and press 4. And press 1. And press multifunction button to disable the silent mode. Fifth, enable and disable auto lock. The auto lock function is disabled by default. You can press the multifunction button and press new master code. And press multifunction button and press 5. And press 1. And press multifunction button to enable auto lock function. You can press the multifunction button and press New master code and press multifunction button and press 5 and press 2 and press multifunction button to disable auto lock function. Sixth, set auto lock time delay. The default auto lock time delay is 30 seconds. You can press the multifunction button and input new master code and press multifunction button and press 8 and input new delay time. It should be 10 seconds to 99 seconds. And press multifunction button to adjust the delay time. Seventh, add one time code. You can press the multifunction button and input new master code. And press multifunction button and press seven. And type in new user code. And press multifunction button and type in new user code again. And press multifunction button to add one time code. The one-time code would be expired after unlocking the JUSER to lock once. Eighth, enable the vacation mode. You can press the multifunction button and input new master code. And press multifunction button and press 6. And press multifunction button to enable the vacation mode. In this mode, the JUSER to lock will reject all user codes until the master code is entered. If the lock is unlocked by the key or the thumb turn, the lock will sound an alarm. You can find common issues with solutions in the user manual. And if the problem couldn't be resolved, please feel free to contact us and we'll get back to you once we received it.